here's a, here's a question that was asked uh, of me last night. So somebody uh, texted me, our daughter, her pre, his, his preschool daughter, uh, accidentally used a dairy metal knife while eating warm chicken. Can we just clean it or do we need to do something else? All right, so there are three options. Should I wash it off? Should I cash it with hot water? Or should I should I stab the ground 10 times with it? Or, or what would your grandparents have done? No. <laughs> All right, so that's, a, that's an interesting topic why people did that. It's like for another class, but... Um, um, but really, I answered that, and not because I was specifically being lenient, but because I know the laws, uh, specific laws, that they didn't need to kosher. So the case here was pretty, there's kind of like a softball case, if you know the, some of the laws, because the food wasn't hot. The food was warm. So when he said, once he said warm, so what's hot? Hot, in order for taste to be transferred, you need heat. What's heat? Heat is yad soletipo. That would mean that your finger, if you touched it, your finger would recoil. I would, when he said warm meat, chicken, it was a clue to me that that wasn't the case. And I asked him and he said that was the case. Um, some say it's 110 degrees, some say 113 degrees. The idea is that it's very hot and that's how heat transfers. So for that reason, um, it was, there was no transfers of taste, milk taste in the knife into the chicken. So technically going back, the chicken was uh, not hot. And if it's not hot uh, to the point that Yad Saleta, but heat doesn't transfer. So don't you get questions like that? It's really like a simple answer. It's just a matter of how much heat was there. So that's a, they just had to rinse it off. Yeah. Because there was no transference of taste between the milk and the meat products.